Hello, grandchildren. Sorry I haven't talked to you guys very much recently. I've been really busy with school, and I just moved into a new house, and uh, I'm also just a lazy bum, so there's that. Speaking of lazy bums, I have a new roommate, and this is a niche. Uh, you can look there. Hey, guys. Yes. Yeah, then it feels more personal, because yeah. you're making eye contact with him. All right. Uh, this is Anish Kumar. Uh, he's uh, Swedish. What? From India. <laughs> Do you want to tell Swedish. them anything about yourself? An interesting fact. What's the dirtiest thing you've ever done with a woman? It's awkward. Uh, do you have any life advice for my grandchildren? Don't listen to anyone. Just just follow your just follow your heart and your dreams. I think. Yeah. I'll That's be around. Nice. Yeah. Over over the. Over. <laughs> yeah. In the corner. In the corner. <laughs> where you belong. Anyway, now I live in a place called Ashfield, which is like 15 minutes of a train ride away from the school instead of 45 minutes away like Pad still was. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about moving around and stuff just because I've been doing it a lot. It's weird moving into a new place. I lived in Anderson, California most of my life. And then recently within the past few months, I moved across the world to a backpackers hostel in Darlinghurst and then I moved to in with a Chinese family in Padstow and now I'm in this giant house shared by like a dozen people that's supposed to be demolished in like a few years uh, and it's in Ashfield and I, I don't know it's just weird the way that your brain kind of handles moving around so much to different places I, I'm no neuroscientist or anything so don't quote me on this but I remember reading a long time ago about how uh, like there's a reason why when you get up from like the living room couch to go get something out of the kitchen, then you walk into the kitchen and then you can't remember what you got up to go into the kitchen for. There's a reason that actually happens. And I think the, the basic idea of it was that your brain is very territorial and, and it kind of matches memories and ideas to the location that you came up with them in. So you come up with an idea or you make a memory or come up with like a an idea, something you want to do in the living room. The moment you leave that territory that your brain kind of made and go into a new territory like the kitchen, then your brain kind of resets itself to fit the new territory. Then you don't remember why you got up and went there in the first place. When I was back home in California, I could look back a year before that point at any point in my life and it would have seemed like not that long ago. It could have seemed like a week, a month ago, whatever, even if it was a few years. And now that I'm here, looking back to just those few different places that I've been, Darlinghurst, Padstow, and now Ashfield, and even looking back to California, it doesn't feel like a day ago or a week ago anymore. It's starting to feel more like months and years ago. Uh, it's just it's really really hazy those different places and uh, it's just kind of weird how that flip-flopped from before I moved anywhere I could remember everything back as though it happened yesterday and now being here everything is really distant and foggy I guess my theory is that it's kind of like a territorial thing again kind of like the going into the kitchen forgetting what you went in there for it's like your brain is clumping all of the memories from this one location into a little box so all of my California memories go into a little California box and then my brain kind of reset itself when I went to Darlinghurst and put all of those memories and ideas into a little box I'm in Ashfield my brain is mainly pulling from the memories of the Ashfield box. And when I try to pull memories from the Padstow box, or the Darlinghurst box, or the California box, it's really hard and things aren't coming out. The other boxes are just kind of like sealed up and kind of out of reach until I go back to them. And then those boxes open up and the other ones close. And again, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I was just kind of thinking about that recently. And it's a weird thing to experience for yourself after living in one place for so long. Anyway, it's late and I should probably go. But uh, grandchildren, if you see me anytime in the near future, we should go make dinner together. Because I've been learning how to cook recently. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> We're both learning how to cook, and we've both been burning shit, but we're getting less shitty the longer we try to cook. <laughs> but hopefully, the idea is that if, uh, it, it, when like 50 years from now, when you guys are alive, maybe I'll be not nearly as bad at cooking as I am right now, and people won't laugh at me when I say I want to cook. Uh... Anyway, grandchildren, yeah, we should, if you see me in the near future, we should come over and we should all cook dinner and it'll be fun. 
I'll see you guys in the next entry, whenever that happens. Uh, hopefully soon, now.